all right guys haven't played this game in a crazy crazy long time a crazy long time uh metal gear solid 3 haven't played this one in a very very long time let's check it out hang on I'm gonna hit that button there right on to metal gear solid 3 yeah let's jump in man we just played metal gear solid 1 and 2 why not is it gonna start with a 15 minute cutscene? it probably will <laughs> new game uh i like metal gear solid so wait, what 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 the fuck does this mean what the hell does this mean oh does this get you a Raiden mask is that our oh, controls it's an easter egg just answer honestly i mean if, if i'm being honest i like metal gear solid 3 oh god <laughs> game ends when being seen by enemy ah oh, fuck off dude hard mode on the last game was fucking bullshit do normal european extreme oh yeah if you get seen it's game over fuck off what about the difference between the, I, there's too many difficulties here too many be normal please do normal hard is easier in metal gear solid 2 extreme and european extreme very easy gives you the easy gun Try your, I don't want to do this fucking game ends when you get seen. I don't want to do that shit. Do normal, you coward. <laughs> I see game ends for action game experts. I mean, I am an action game expert, right? I am an action game expert, obviously. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. <laughs> fucking hell. If I bitch a single time, we already know I'm going to bitch. You already know I'm going to. Spoilers. You will absolutely regret this. <laughs> Remember that for two hours now and your veins are bulging out of your head. I'd say hard and Metal Gear Solid 2 had like a couple of really annoying moments, but nothing that was like mind breaking. Like, nothing like... Like, I feel like God of War 2 is the gold standard for breaking my brain. Flying over Pakistan. Altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Arm main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high-pressure mass. Cab okay. Good, we've got high visibility. Nah. I'll need to get my blood pressure checked Put twice daily. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Does this panty waist know what he's doing? Approaching release. Dude. Line. Big boss is such a giga chad. Drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. What's a panty waist? Good question. I have no idea. Have I played this? I played this when it came out like a million years ago. Uh, I remember nothing. Uh, like eating snakes, eating food to heal, camouflage, uh, Vulgan. I remember nothing. I remember boobs. Yeah, they're boobs. Do you remember the ladder? Yeah, I'll try not to do that. Look, it says Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater on his forehead. The world's first halo jump. 
10 seconds to drop off. Stand by. Status okay? All green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. That's like the least graceful jump ever. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is a halo jump? A halo jump is a jump from a certain height, right? Like a, a, a parachuting from a way higher altitude. I think, right? Jack, I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum. In they start off right away with a cutscene, huh? <laughs> His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB-754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. The story is so good in this. Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961... I've been shooting for two hours, and there's been about 10 minutes of gameplay. In history. <laughs> the Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin into orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly- That's true, I did play Metal, Ge Metal Ge uh, MSX Metal well, Gear for like 20 minutes, that's true. Design bureau. That's quite a success story, so why do you want to defect? Come on, he, don't bullshit me. Of his own creations. Go and Han Solo. Thank you for the 30 months. Thank you very much. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. We used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Security on the Eastern Thank you for asking. Everything's fine. Hang on one sec. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted, and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. All right. And it was only a week later that we there wouldn't be so many explanations if Snake didn't ask so many questions. That's a good point. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The President demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear How war. was the end of Metal Gear Solid 2? It was fun. Conducted through the UN it's a really fun movie. It's <laughs> good. Channels ...to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? Time we had no idea. We were running out of time. 
was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, Mr. Gorbachev, no tear down that there while President JFK Kennedy 1986. The next day, Daywalker, thanks for five dollars. Handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my sight. Poor Sokolov, huh? Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No. Missiles. Same technology. I Come guess on, you're right. Don't bullshit me. Details, but it appears to be Mario weapon. Man, thank you for the 46 months. Thank you for very much. Now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at semi -Palatinsk. Something to do with the weapon, I assume. Debriefing simulator. The weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in a facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs? Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our Are you best sure you're ready for three already? Back. This mission would never have been possible Why not? if we still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too. I mean, we only, cho we only chose extreme difficulty. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. RIP in advance. What could possibly go wrong? Everything you know that. Listen up, Jack. Your mission is to infiltrate Silly. They want me to press buttons? The Soviet mountains. Ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back. What happens if I don't press RB? Do I just die? Sokolov back before that weapon is complete. We'll be oh, does crisis. it look through the camera? It looks through the, the thing, right? <laughs> That's what it does. Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface-to-air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat-proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Informed of the plan after jumping. <laughs> All right, here's what you're doing. Good luck. Would that be incredibly dangerous to parachute into a forest like that? You like really easily get caught, like stuck. Like you'd you'd want to parachute into like open fields or something. <laughs> Not for snake, right? Yeah, or hit a tree, or get caught, or break a leg or an arm.
I'm not a parachute expert. I'm just speculating. I've never been parachuting before. Just don't do those things. Still had a mullet even in 1962. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be you Naked Snake. Bitch. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. Moose out. Not to twenty months. Your real name. Snake. What? You don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order. I one think he moves out. Mario Man. Be thanks careful. for 46 months. Thank you choice. very much. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm. Let's see. I'll be. I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. Is that a reference, you Major Tom? No trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of yeah, infiltration yeah. is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procured on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. Good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Uh, Matt Taddy, thank exactly you for the tier like two 12 months. Stuff. Thank you very You've much. You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. I see. Well, you'd better go back and get it then. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press mm -hmm. the action button. Extreme is going to make you so hungry progress. all the time. Bitch. We can't risk violating Soviet Wait, does it actually affect your hunger gunshot. rates and shit too? Oh, God. Does it really? Uh, Benny, thank you for the 30 months. To. Thank you very much. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. I'm hungry! Bye, yeah, we'll see, I guess. I fucked up. I probably did. Okay. Yeah. Me so hungry. All right, you can, uh, depending, it's cool how they tell you, like, your level of camouflage, depending on what you're standing in and shit. It's kind of neat. Okay. Can you hunt for chicken nuggies in the jungle? All right. Just like my mom's Brussels sprouts. We'll see, we'll see. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. I'm hungry! To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. Snake is running like he has a jeweled butt plug in. To equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. Oh boy. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Right. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. Yes. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun? That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability so reaches fucked. zero, the noise <laughs> suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now 
You'll have to find as you go. Okay. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. So this is weapons, before Foxhound, I guess. Sweat or bodily waste. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny. Have we played yet? Not really. The <laughs> then I'll just have to take care of myself. Not now. really. No. I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. I did push I'm RB generous, once okay. and I pressed Y once. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in right, your Right, right! A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. Oh, God. Time. Survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm Paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic? As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. <laughs> After a week... No one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency, 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. Oh my god! That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh? Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? Boss? That's right. Boss? It's me. She's got the headband. Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. <laughs> You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. You I miss can't Rose. teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Roll credits. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. 
Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Foreshadowing? Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack, I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the I can't orders. zoom in on faces anymore. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I, I also have can't to do to get have, the job done. I can't press the trigger to have the character politics. say stupid shit. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing... I thought you guys talking about extreme mode seems pretty easy so far. Love. And that's the way a soldier's <laughs> supposed to think. The only thing Two can hours later. Absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are oh, sure no. to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual what a, what survival mission. What an impenetrable mission. intro to this game. My god. <laughs> Where are you, boss? Next to the major? Holy the boss crap. boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission you is to retrieve Dr. Bitch. Sokolov. Pop of the bar, thank you for 42 months. Hey, happy birthday, man. Factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. I'm Get hungry. this people here. Uh, this was the tree we climbed. And there's like an item to the right there. You see that? How do I reach that? I guess I don't. Uh, let's see. Camouflage, backpack, food. Oh, you can uh, change your ammo anytime you... <laughs> there we go. 
Uh, you can change your uh, your camouflage whenever you want. Gotcha. What about you can change your face too? Ah, here. We go. <laughs> uh, oi, mate. They don't, do they have a? Ah, here we go. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> looks like he looks like he's about to storm the capital. Barb, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. I've spammed this so much over the playthroughs. I owe you, Barb Shrug. Oop, snake, snake. Oh. Hey. We got a rat snake. Uh, Sextirical, thank you for the $10. Rex Alex, thank you for 45 months. Thank you very much. I like the I like his like hua, 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 hua. something there's something that kind of reminds me of Mac a little bit with the knife reminds me slightly of Mac from Always Sunny. Oh! I thought you all might like to know that tomorrow is International Beaver Day. So I want you all to celebrate your favorite beavers in your own way. Let's see. Ah, uh, Corbaton, thanks to 500 bits. Thank you very much. Got some gator. Mm-mm. Lock D some gator. If you uh, uh if you crouch your HP does come back. Okay. Does it? Okay, it doesn't. Got you. Uh, yeah, the Path of Exile thing's gonna be, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be tomorrow. Uh, I think it's gonna be tomorrow night. I, I think we're going the right way. <laughs> USA Naked. What's tomorrow night? Uh, I'm doing a... <laughs> Chills. Up. Oh. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK 47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. Mm -hmm. Can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth did mission. Did I do marbles earlier today? Not I that? did not. No, the I had to run out. The right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. Uh, the Serati uniform dude, thanks 100 option bits. lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're <laughs> bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows Hear how that, well Barton? your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. 
The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Okay. Do you have Russian flag? Yeah, you actually can put the Soviet flag on yourself. Uh, all right, so let's go to uniform. Looks like leaf might be the best. Does face actually change? Oh, it actually, it changes it, but not much. Not much. I think we'll be okay. If you put on the Soviet flag, they'll think you're one of them. Bug juice. What the? I'm just seeing things. <laughs> Must have been the wind. He saw the, I swear I just thought I saw an American flag in those bushes over there. So this game is really interesting because it has, uh, unlike Metal Gear Solid 2 with the fixed camera angles, now you can freely move the camera with the right stick. It's kind of cool. I can uh, I can spin the camera around. That's the way it was in the original game too, right? That That's how the original game was? Yeah, I'm not sure what the point of that is. Does the uh, evasion go down the more you are camouflaged? No, I guess not. Maybe the alert does though. Interesting. Hey, what country do you think that guy was from? <laughs> Hey, just like Metal Gear Solid 2, you can just uh, completely, if you just die, it resets the aggression level. So sometimes dying is your best bet. Uh, let's see. Ah, so if you go Tiger Stripe or Desert Tiger, it's actually better here. Okay, now we are desert. Yeah, the reactive camo to whatever you're around is pretty cool. I like that. Who's that? Just broken the 3ds through the camera it's like you haven't played two of these already <laughs> uh let's see what what's my uh best camouflage bet here let's see i guess the leaf is kind of my best bet
Huh? Who's that? Hey, how did he uh how did he instantly alert everybody? Bullshit. It's on extreme. Well, I mean, okay, it's on extreme. That still seems kind of bullshit that he instantly alerts everybody. They can communicate telepathically. Like, there's no radio or nothing. America, bitch. Gonna run out of ammo. This game rules. Can you uh, knife a mushroom? Oh, you can. Uh, Flesh Nichols, thank you for the tier three 16 months. Sunless, thank you for the 19 months. Thank you very much, Flesh Nichols. Really appreciate that. Stealth on, mission. Don't bullshit me. Uh, Wafflum, thank you for the 57 months. Thank you very much. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. Nope. I, I keep forgetting they want me to do that. From here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. This game seems patriotic as fuck. How many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Yeah, oh, I'll be fine. And one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. The game is proud of its country. That's a darn rare thing these days. I mean, come on, come on dude. Don't we can also me. we can also change to this. <laughs> Good that this game is finally proud of its country, bro. I mean, we can, <laughs> you can do whatever you want here. This gives you like any option. <laughs> I don't know if it's about pride. I think it's just kind of a silly thing. Dude, a game that's proud of its country. God, it's just so bad in this day and age, brah. In this day and age of woke games. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
Tiger Strike. Oh, DPM. Okay. Oh, good for you. And how was it? Uh, Homestar, thanks for 300 bits. Thank you very much. It is slightly annoying if you want to be like, I guess you don't have to worry about it too much, but if you wanted to constantly change your, your stuff, that'd be a little annoying. Racist game. You know, you know what I can do? Uh, for a thousand bits, I'll change to your country of choice. <laughs> That's what we can do. I got to monetize that shit. Uh, Sauron the Almighty, thanks to the 25 months. Thank you very much. Greed. Another greedy decision by Barbarous King. <laughs> Do they have Belgium? This guy just dies over and over again. Brown. He's not good enough at target prioritization, I am over nightmare. Oh. But he's just doing the same thing over and over and losing. <laughs> Brown Plaza. Ah, uh, Brown. Sauron the Almighty, thanks to Resub. Thank you very much. <laughs> what was the name? What's the name of the movie? Kirk Lazarus in uh, in Tropic Thunder. Is that Robert Downey Jr.? Uh, great. Not looking good. Get up attack. The Kirk Lazarus. The same start as Metal Gear Solid Four. This guy just dies over and over again. <laughs> he's not good enough at target prioritization. I, I am. I don't think there's a North Korea. He's just. Doing the same thing but over and I over and losing. I can't do that. That's the best I can do North for you. Korea, please. Best I can do. Uh, Woodland Fell, thanks to 1,000 bits. Thank you very much. There's a lot of guards here. What's my best uh, camouflage? DPM. I wonder how much the camouflage rating matters, like, in the game, in terms of detection. Um, should I go for this building or not? Can't get me here, bitches. <laughs> yeah, they can. <laughs> yeah, they can. Ah, oh, it's not. It's not saving my. Uh, hang on. There's a DPM. Actually, it says flex style. We'll just go. I think DPM was the best. Uh, Woodland Fell, thanks to 1,000 bits. Appreciate it. Who is that? Really? Who's that? What the? Ah! Already? Don't worry, I'm sure we can get away, right? I'm sure. How did I like Metal Gear Solid 2? So I... The first attempt was the best. It said that he's being kept in a building over here. I guess maybe we should go from this side somewhere?
Rat! What was that? Jeez, they fucking noticed the rat? Fuck you, bro. <laughs> All right, so I I don't. It's like somewhere around here, I guess. Or snakes and shit. HQ. HQ. <laughs> this is HQ. Patrol here. Just lost sight of the intruder. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Um. The difficulty adjusts their sight and their hearing, apparently. Or rat. Um, hmm. I had a rat living in my kitchen for a month, never saw the fucker once. Yeah, I'd imagine it's not great to have actual rats in your house. From literally blind to perfect human vision. So it said the northeast corner. Am I in the northeast corner right now? Hang on. Take a look at my food. I have a lot of food. Uh, let's eat the... Sure, let's eat a mushroom. Disgusting. Eat the rat. Uh, censored cashew. Thank you for the uh, gift sub. Thank you very much. Wait, do any of these things actually heal you? Do any of these things actually heal you or no? I guess they don't heal you. Is there a Scottish face paint? I could do British, like UK, but that's it. Now there was a ladder back here too. Ah, uh, thank you, Central Cash. You appreciate it, dude. Huh? Is somebody there? Who's that? Bro Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow! Holy shit! What the fuck? This is bullshit. <laughs> what the I'm just seeing things. Now, there's a lot of guards around here too. Now I think it's like that way. Somewhere that way, I think. Somewhere over there. I don't know where. Okay. Just like with two, we warned you. Nobody in chat warned me. Put them all to sleep. You're probably in the right spot. Yeah, it feels like kind of somewhere in this area. I just have to not get detected so I can actually look around safely. This way? No. Up the ladder, maybe? You grab Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 first, but 3 is probably your favorite. Uh, I can sh well, I can shoot the bird, I guess. Sure. Who's that? What's wrong? Oh, good for you! And how was it? Oh, you know what? 
it's like right down here is where it is. This is where I have to go. Well, if they stop shooting at me, I think we should be able to be, we should be able to go in there. Yeah, all right, we know where to go now. That bird was working for them. Come on, don't bullshit me. You can, uh, there's a difference between tranking. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can catch it. Pretty tasty. Hey, all right, we like the taste of that, apparently. Metal Gear Slowpoke. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. I see him. Jesus Christ! Holy shit! <laughs> wow! My God! Holy shit! So why don't you go ahead and kill me? Show them my moves. Why don't you go ahead and kill me? I have negative camo. You, so it seems like you maybe maybe you have to like kind of constantly change your camouflage and shit in this game. On extreme, we get more gameplay than cutscenes. That's fair. So Leaf seems pretty good here. I wonder if we can make a direct, like if we can make a direct line into the building, like through here. Uh, let's see, camouflage, let's see. Or play, or play on normal, yeah, or play on normal. <laughs> okay. Boy, like what? Who even saw me? This guy saw me. I'm trying to think like what is the best way through. I I think I maybe have a better strategy on how to get through. I think I, I think I have an idea. How long until we change the difficulty? I, is that even an option? I don't even know that's an option. Dude, that guy saw me already? Holy shit. Oh my god. That's such bullshit. I'm just things. Okay, now that we're waiting for that guy to turn around. There's a guy over yeah, that's the guy in the in the background. That's the guy we need to trank. And then I think if we trank that guy, we can go straight that way. Okay, what's my camouflage at? Uh, I think DPM is definitely better here for sure. Okay. Uh, Glaceon, thanks to bits. Appreciate it. Bro, like, every fucking direction sucks. Like, every direction sucks here. Uh, maybe the original... Alright, maybe the original strategy was best. Maybe I should do the original strategy. Why does Snake run like he's in the mud? Maybe the original strategy was best. Ow. Every direction, they got all angles covered. Yeah, they seemingly do, don't they? Bed. Look at holy shit. <laughs> Look at this. My god. Well, all right, I tried to go left because I thought there was only those two guards, but it seems like there's other guys in the structure that are looking down too. So that doesn't seem like that's going to work out. The 
The game is not fucking around. The original strategy seems like it's the best where I crawl to the right over here and then trank like two guards and then climb the ladder. Now, when I climb the ladder, I think somebody saw me last time, though. I don't know. The face isn't helping me blend in. No, it definitely isn't. That's where I need to go into, right there. Who saw me? Who's what? Who saw me? No, come on. Who the wow. Who saw me? Literally, who saw me? Oh, come on. I can't wait. Why can't I move? Who the hell even saw me, man? Oh, wow. You can get back here in like two minutes, switch down the hard. The guy was looking, what are you talking about? There was nobody in front of me. Are you talking about the guy that's like behind seven crates? That guy? That guy saw me like nothing? Look at... <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God. He was right there. I don't... You guys are so full. He was, like, behind 19 crates. I thought I was HQ. fine. HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. We lost sight of the intruder going into high alert. Man. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Oh, uh, what's my camouflage at right now? Good lord. Tree bark is apparently best. Sure. Who's that? Oh my god! It's uh, like unplayable! It's fucking unplayable! You can't do anything! You can't move! What do you mean stealth? I cannot do anything! God, that's so dumb. <sighs> wow. You know, obviously this game is super old, but I hope someday we get to a point where difficult, I think that it's difficulty is getting better already. I hope at some point we can get to a point where we can actually make difficulty like a good thing in games. Like, and not just have it be like, do you want this to be like a trash experience that ruins the games? Like, sure. Like, I hope someday we get there. I feel like we're getting there. We, we are getting there. There's like more adaptive difficulty and things make sense. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I know. I, I'm the one that chose extreme. I know. I think so often when you choose a higher difficulty in a game, you're just signing up to make the game so much worse. Like, you're just making the game bad. And, uh... Especially with older games. It's, it's like, super true of old games. Uh, I don't know if you can. I don't know if I can lower it or not.
Here is three dollars in gratitude that I do not have to do this. Uh, hey, Werewolf, thanks for three dollars. Thank you very much. You would need a new save to lower. That also seems pointless to me. Like, if you want to change the difficulty of the game, just change, like, why, why not just let the player do that? That also seems pretty pointless to me. So, like, that's the room. That's the room I want to get into right over there. There's, like, a guard, like, somewhere right in front of here. Yeah, there he is. Can I can I shoot him from here? Okay. This game does obviously pretty well. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how the rest of it goes, obviously. Okay, there you go. Someday I'll get a response out of Barb someday. Well, if you don't have to get a response, somebody, you can just be like, hey, Barb, how's it going? You don't have to like, it, we don't have to have this like, I will bait you relationship all the time. We could just talk. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the money. Yeah, noticing how the, being able to control the camera is a big difference. You must be so glad. How is this game so far? Uh, we've only just started. Men. You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? The response I'd like is, hey, dude, how's it going? What's up, uh, dude? How's it going? What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. <laughs> but we've got no time for this. You'll have to get me out of here before they arrive. Do we have to hold his hand? Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's oh a boy. member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis... F-Zero, how's it going, man? Thanks for the 100 bits. Really appreciate that. The West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities... Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far, but the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as Final the Chronic and see Barb Design got his binge watching a trilogy. to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. The now, story is a lot more digestible than two. I feel like the story gets to the point here, very quickly. And, leverage in his bid for power. and it doesn't have that many mind fucks to it compared to Metal Gear Solid 2. Metal Gear Solid 2 has its, his, its head so far up its own ass, it's ridiculous. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then the soldiers outside. I beat Metal Gear Solid 2. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. If we ever have a Metal Gear Marathon, can we do easy mode? Me in the process, or so it would seem.
Volgan will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Yeah, this is like the first in all of the stories. Like this is like this is like the origin, the prequel to all the entire series. By the way, your Russian is superb. <laughs> Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Did I see so? the TSM tweet? Ah, uh, the tweet of America me. Yes, they always choose the best country. fucking tweets of me. Having second thoughts. No, I have no love for this place. Let's go. Hell yeah, brother. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. I didn't kill any sentries. Hey, thanks for the what gifts up. I put a couple we guys lost to contact sleep. with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get so uh, there's no fork. Thank you for the gift sub. Thank you very much. The gators got him, uh, maybe. Oh, it'll make you hold his hand. Yeah, that's it. You guys didn't see the TSM tweet. There it is. <laughs> always, uh, always choosing the best tweets of me. <gasps> Monocles are coming back. Everyone's wearing them now. Glad I'm okay. What's up, Imbarb? We trust. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, everything's fine. The legendary boss. Huh? Oh God. <laughs> huh? We meet at last. This fucking guy. <laughs> you, you're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier. He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? That's kind of funny because he actually hits you with ricochets in Metal Gear Solid 1. That's pretty funny. These are the same guys that spotted me from a mile away. I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade. Even if it is for the Gru. 
Sokolov, take cover. Why not shoot Snake? If you're asking, like, what are Ocelot's motivations, I don't think anybody knows. <laughs> you're not the boss, are you? I think anybody has any idea what this character is about. I'm not even sure Kojima knows. Wow! What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> That was easy. Leave it. Shoot the other one. Whoa. Why did I just do this earlier? Dude, Ocelot got fucking worked. USA. Ocelot got fucking worked here. Testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. <laughs> you filthy American dog! <laughs> 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 Judo chop. <laughs> he literally judo chopped him. But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Don't they become like best buds like later on or something? Uh, Flance, thank you for the 24 months. Thank you very much. Major. Lo Do really you lovers? Me? Wow. I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov too. Apparently they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgans. Sokolov was being uh, guarded Carl, by the, the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. That's fanfic. Is that like... Sokolov ran off by himself. Like magic but Harry Potter pregnancies We're and shit. <laughs> Achievement! Let's go! All right, let's see. Uh, is this supposed to do something? Shoot him, please. Okay. <laughs> I, I turned him into a unicorn. He 
He looks he looks like a birthday cake. <laughs> Problem solved, series over. <laughs> you created a time paradox. You're snake. You can't go changing the future like that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Give this people air. This this series, these these games are like endless flaw, like deeply flawed, but masterpieces is what they are like. They've got so many problems that none of them are perfect, but they're all just so unique and creative and cool. Like uh, they they're like deeply flawed masterpieces. Incredible Easter eggs. Razzy, thank you for the two months. Thank you very much. Like the creativity, the energy, like some of the ideas, but the execution is off. You okay? Those men were from the, the gameplay is bad. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's what they were making you build. Yes, the Shagahod, the treading behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles. Hey, from thanks for the gift sub. You. Oh yes. There's and no fork. Thanks for the gift sub. Thank you very much. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. I mean, like tactically, I don't understand best? why. No. A Metal Gear or the Shagohaw would even be useful, right? We already have... Don't we already have ICBMs and nuclear submarines and shit? I don't know why it would... I don't know why it would be useful at all. Don't think too hard about it. Yeah. It will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War. Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. It's cool, the shut the fuck war. up. Yeah, pretty much. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child Mobility? Do you really think this America. thing is more mobile than like a tank or a bomber Take or a submarine? America. Quickly. They cannot that thing is mobile? It doesn't look very mobile. Help. <laughs> Got it. Let's go. Right, right. I mean, I don't know. I feel like they could have probably wrote it in such a way that the Metal Gear was actually like a more practical thing, right? I don't know. It can jump. Also, in every game, doesn't like a stupid asshole with the rocket launcher beat like 18 of them? Like, so how good is the Metal Gear? It's got legs. Shut up. Stop thinking. <laughs> they look cool yeah i got it give me that hot dog thanks to five gift subs thank you very much really appreciate that thank you give me that hot dog Is he going to wet himself? Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. Huh. All right. Who is this? The there's like what is it? The fury, the pain, the sorrow, right?
Not the bees! You've been bead. Man, you guys are right. This really is like a B movie. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. That pun really stung. Well, why don't you buzz off then? It's time we go to the depths of hell itself. Please stop. Be gone. Boy, you guys really are a hive mind. It's raining. Pretty good. Is he crying? A fucking ghost. <laughs> Kuabara, Kuabara. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. Wasn't there actually a, an emotion to carry into a congressman life? or senator of the United what States? What are you talking about? And he was like a Soviet spy for like Thank 30 years and nobody trigger. ever caught him or some shit. That was cool. You've <laughs> seen my face. We can't let him live. Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. Dude, could he be any more Jack? anime with, like, you electricity coming off of him randomly? He couldn't be any more anime, could he? The fuck was that? <laughs> Oh, we had to grab the headband. The new blood has been rejected. I said kill him, don't throw him into the waterfall.
Are we done here? Now, onto Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Can't wait for the remake of this game. I feel like Metal Gear Solid Metal Gear Solid rivals Bloodborne with the amount of constant rumors about remakes, remasters, re-releases. Lots of rumors, very little action. Bloodborne, have you heard anything? Any day now. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Okay. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone, and lacerations on your upper hmm. arms, right elbow, and abdomen. How much does this matter throughout the game? They I don't remember this. Using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon yeah, I, button. I, I, I honestly do not remember. The medical item, and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. Uh, can I, like, put a cigar? To like... treat a bone <laughs> fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. Okay. That should do it. For last if you don't do it, you die almost instantly. Wound, sutures to stitch it up. Stip uh, Punny Pearl, blood, thank you for the 26 months. The thank you very much. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Okay. Dr. Barb. <laughs> okay, cure. Uh, suffering from a deep cut. Okay, so it says no bandage applied. Bleeding, no bandage applied. Uh, knife. Seems like the knife doesn't work. Suture kit. It's uh, bleeding, no bandage yet applied, so let's bandage. And not yet disinfected. Okay, disinfect. And we're still bleeding from it. Uh... Ah, okay, so we cured that. This is bleeding, disinfect, bandage. Okay. Ooh. Oh, do I have to suture it? Aha, okay. Suit is I like how you can do these in whatever order you want. <laughs> like, whatever order is fine. You need a splint for that? Got you. Uh, Felipe, thank you for the tier two, 32 months. Thank you very much. Suture, bandage. Okay, and another bone fracture. The boss whooped our ass, huh? Here we go. <laughs> you 
You think you could do that, Chad? You think you could do that if your arm was in that situation? Do you think you could do that? I feel like you would. I I feel like you could. You would have to have a decent amount of knowledge because you'd probably just make it worse, right? It's like, all right, ah, I made it worse. You have to. It's like setting a bone, right? See, I don't. I wouldn't know how to do that. Get to pop your knee in hiking once. Good job, Snake. Seventy-five percent of men in a recent study said they could land a plane with zero experience. That's like eighty percent of Americans who say they could like beat a they they could like beat an elephant in a fist fight or some shit. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the gift sub. You uh, there's no fork. Thank you for the gift sub. Thank you very much. I can fight an eagle and beat an eagle. I could not beat an elephant. I'm sorry. That I can't do. Shago <laughs> hard. Yeah, what is why what is why does Volgan say Kurabara? Love you lots, Aww. man. Uh, Eagle Heart, thank you for the three dollars, man. Thank you very much. Uh, there's no fork. Thank you for the gift sub. Dude, Vulgan's face. <laughs> Without going into too much, I'm, I'm going through some stuff right now, and uh, it's kind of like real life stuff's kind of hard at the Excellent. moment, but uh, I don't want to go into it too much, Great but. Success. Uh, thank you guys for being understanding cobras. and, uh, you know, I, have I appreciate you guys. Ah, uh, you know, I mean. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. Thanks, guys. I'm trying to buy a Wendy's. Uh, Dramley, thanks to 100 nice bits. Catch. Thank you very much. I'll take her. Not so fast, my dear. You can't We may be able to use her. She has spunk. My name is John Paul. Something Thanks for the nine months. Face. Thank you very much. Yeah, we beat Metal Gear Solid 2. We, we have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> Remember the Alamo. Colonel! What? <laughs>
Luminous Pudding, thank you for the Get 10 gift here. subs. Thank you very much. It's a Davy Crockett missile. Oh. Son of a bitch. All dead. Uh, Luminous Pudding, thank you so much for 10 gift subs, man. I really appreciate that. Boozy McBeer, thank you for the 20 months. Garnix, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you, guys. It doesn't work as well. In Metal Gear Solid 2, it's kind of constant. Dun, dun, dun. Save. Come on. Yes. Don't bullshit me. Uh, Cyanide, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you, uh, Luminous. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. All right, save our game. The sound effects are so dead on. All right. Oh, shit. We get the bond opening. Love it. It's a baby nuke. Hang on. Turn that up. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'll melt into you. What a sick intro. What a fear in my heart. But you're so supreme. cool franchise that has been essentially thrown in the dirt whatever flaws it has i feel like worse franchises have gotten so many games compared to metal gear solid like worse franchises have gotten so many games yeah hey thanks for the gift sub you On a tree frog. Tree frog. Ruining song, asshole. Toad singing along. You hate this song? You hate this song? The music director asked for a James Bond song and this was submitted. They fucking, I mean, great decision and it turned out awesome. Don't bullshit. Right? Press buttons. Press buttons. Why is that an option? <laughs> uh, M. Doby, thank you for the 11 months. Spracken, thank you for the tier 3, 28 months. Where Mario? Uh, up my ass after you kiss it. Uh, there's no fork, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you very much. Currently really appreciate over the that. Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet Give airspace. this people air. Arriving at the designated uh, Calzone, thank point. you for the 19 months. Thank you very Total much. Oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk Give this people jump here. this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. 
Uh, Wildcard Dave, thank you for 11 months. Dima, thank you for the nine months. Thank you very much. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. Do I need a Metal Gear Solid 6? They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Mm. No. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a I think let hero. Metal Gear Solid be this and make a new Fox Metal Gear Solid. No. New characters, new franchise, new world, free of Konami. See you today. Jack, it's time for Fox That's what I think. Next. What are you talking about? Well, the situation has I would changed. say that I don't I don't dislike Death Stranding, but yeah, I don't think Death chance. Stranding is it. Get too excited. Yeah. Have a cigar. Well, yeah, like I don't mind Death Stranding, but I don't think Death Stranding really equals Metal Gear Solid for me. I feel like Metal Death Stranding doesn't have the same like despite Morning, the fact it's got fucking Norman Reedus and shit. Like it doesn't have the same case. character draw. No. Like it needs like a central character or something. something even bigger. Do I get Good Friday off? N Yesterday, no. The White House received an <laughs> unexpected call. No. President Johnson. Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union. That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. All the attack thanks to 51 months. At about months. the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. <laughs> Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that? The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. No, really, what does her actual During name? During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss. Lyndon Johns would have made this call on the shitter. Shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgan's help, stole two he sounds like country barb. shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter... Why does the Sokolov's president have that accent? It's a fictional fucking world, moron. Facility was destroyed by one of these weapons. There's literally Gundams running right around. So that's far. your biggest problem? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. 
That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then, you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. I told you Preferably once, I'll tell you again, I'm not sharing the Kentucky benefit. Fried Chicken Herbs and Spices. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. <laughs> Eleven Herbs and Spices. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of I'm the I'm from the South, I'm afraid which not. to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if you know what he sounds like? Ask, the actor Volkin. from Die Hard 2, what is that who was the air traffic control guy. Nothing. Uh, Means nothing. He so the president sounds like Call that guy. Day, modest gentleman he, I can't remember his name. Continued relationship. Yeah, anybody what remember his name? can't prove our innocence? Rex Kramer. Unable to restrain you remember Die Hard 2? Come on, don't bullshit me. Seek These guys like rack him, sack him, and bar. You know, nuclear attack. The controller once he did it. No, it's awake. Fred Thompson, is that it? Of this situation entirely to your discretion. Check off. <laughs> disposal. Ed Trudeau, you guys just throwing out names. It will mean the beginning of a new world war. I say, I say, son. Yeah, simply, he was like a senator or something. In nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. I just got my ass you destroyed. You were <laughs> this one up, both be six feet up. She broke every bone in my body and cut me to pieces. Mr. Sweep, thank you for the tier two fifty months. Thank you very much. These look like fun Are games. The Russians going to be helping us. The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. These games are like That's half it. movies, also half put games. Us in touch with a couple of insiders. <laughs> insiders. <laughs> there was a defection in September nineteen sixty. You remember? Uh, Mr. Sweep, thank you for the tier two fifty months. Thank you very much. Shadow Man, thanks for the resub. Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB for exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Everything's Eli. fine now, Rotator. Like, I've been got told some... that Adam has infiltrated Vulcan's ranks. Going through some stuff in real life right now, and uh, I don't really want to talk too much about it, but uh, thank you. Everything's fine. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Whee! Ed Trudeau. Everything's all right. Please put a shoe on your head so I know you're not AI. Control, unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. What, what, uh, what year did this game come out? It's fast. Oh, Estimated no. airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. What? Game is so real. I'll turn it down. Huh? Uh, thanks, Jackie. I appreciate it. <laughs> wow. That seems like really not safe. Do they just find the least safe w safe ways to send Snake in every time? This time we're going to fire you out of a cannon, Snake. <laughs> Hold on. 
Jeez. He's a hero. My name is Snake and this is Jackass. <laughs> Took it like a champ. Doesn't this make me more excited to play the game? His name isn't Safe Snake, it's true. This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod. Then destroy it. Yeah, Giant Knoxville like finally, fucked himself up. Eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the Colonel How's the movie going? It's pretty good movie so far. Nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came <laughs> out last year. I oh, must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. I think I've ever... I don't know. The I think I've seen the movie once a Dick long time Harry ago. Tom. I get it. You use the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. So what was the point of all this? <laughs> we'll start over from Why? square one. We could have just skipped from this entire conversation. Zero. My frequency is one. You ever seen this movie, Snake? Point eight five. It's a good movie. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. <laughs> her frequency... <laughs> Is the same as during the virtual. Poor paramedic. Mission. One four Jeez, five man. point seven. Three. Why? <laughs> She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same. One four zero. Harvest King, I'm afraid that if you do not six. beat this video game in extreme mode, we are revoking your Twitch partnership as well. Team. His name is Mr. Well, shit, Sigurd. man. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is one four eight point. If you don't beat this, we're revoking Twitch Mr. Laser Belt's Twitch partnership. Wow, that's fine. Adam, your KGB <laughs> contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory. I can live with that. Head. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. Is the whole area's been Adam polluted Ocelot? by the fallout from that nuclear blast. Is he already no fucking betraying the everybody? The is, who are the Patriots and Lali Lule Lo? Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. So Patriots and Lali Lule Lo time. already. Now on an official we know the Patriots the are States kind government. of... It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent. To the Khrushchev regime, at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. How am I this smart? What did I do that was smart? <laughs> I, did a, I did a smart? I didn't even realize. 
World's fucked. Got it. Dude, he's a master. So we have a knife. We did, all right, no silenced pistol anymore. Okay. okay. You have to play the game for most of your streams. You just watch a movie. Oh, is that why? <laughs> What's my favorite Star Fox character? Uh, I'll say Star Wolf. Uh, hang on, hang on. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, solid PO, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Hmm? Chills. Wolf is sick. All right, I, I had an idea. If you're talking about, so if we're, if we're gonna talk about Star Fox for a second. I feel like the Star Fox, there hasn't really been a decent Star Fox game in like a really long time. Uh, the last, Star Fox is kind of in the dumps right now. It's not a great franchise, kind of shitty at the moment. I think it would be really cool to set a game around Star Wolf where you play as the Star Wolf team and you're like ruthless like mercenaries just taking any job and like fighting good guys and bad guys. How about a game where you play as Star Wolf? I think that would be fucking sick, right? Like Tie Fighter, like you can just be like a super mercenary, a gritty reboot. I mean, why not? It could be, it could be interesting, right? Exodia for a good new Star Fox. Nintendo only makes kids games. Uh, I mean, Nintendo periodically makes some pretty fucked up shit. I don't think that's necessarily true, right? They can be dark when they want to. Ah. Nintendo's definitely had, I mean, maybe not recently, but in the past, Nintendo's done some darker stuff for sure. Metroid Dread was pretty awesome. I mean, even just, even just Breath of the Wild has some fairly dark, like, implications and, like, the, the world is ruined and shit, right? Dread was outsourced to Mercury Team. Conquer. Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, there you go, right? Twilight Princess, pretty dark, yeah. What a fucking horse. Ah, Kirby engine. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? <laughs> Why is she in an astronaut suit now? Stop breaking my guns. Go home. Go home. Gru and my sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss. My groin! I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. <laughs> Why? I don't think that's how bullets work.
<laughs> no. I don't think that's how bullets work. That should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. Oops. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Oriok, thank you for the 34 months. Thank you very much. I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? There's like faces in the rain. Weird. You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. Oriok, thanks so much for the tier 2 34 months. Greatly appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much, dude. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. Your cat is snort. Ow, that was completely unnecessary. That was so not necessary. <laughs> now, go. Why does just have the horse take a shit on my head too? Like, on, ah! don't bullshit me. <laughs> just, why not? They tumbled and caused more damage. Well, when you say a bullet tumbles, this that was Smith. showing the bullet Major doing zero. a flip out of the gun. I don't I think that's what tumbling means. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. I don't it's think that's what flames. it is. The it's bullets were literally coming out backwards come and flipping for. around. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgan, isn't exactly Backflip speaking bullets? terms with Khrushchev. It was a roundhouse bullet. The boss destroyed it. Snake? I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians. That she'd double cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if but you she don't told accept us she it, didn't. you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. Kojima's a gun sexual, weapon, I believe right? him. That I means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. No problem, I got that. We saw an extreme, yes. Uh, well, we're talking about bullets that like, you're talking about like a slight spiral, which increases the damage, right? Like, not like the bullets literally flip around. That's two very different things. What the hell is this? HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Uh, what do we got? Come on, don't bullshit me. Peter, thank you for the 40 months. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate that. Ooh, edgy. You ever a Metal Gear game? Uh... So like I haven't played I, like I've said earlier. Is this like actually the same area we were in? Looks like identical to the first area we were at. 
I, I, I played this game when it first came out a really long time ago. And this was like, oh my God, I love this game when it came out. Now, it's been a very long time, so... Um, but man, my memory of this game was very positive. Uh, we'll see if it holds up. I'm also, I might have pissed in my, in my soup here by playing this on the hardest difficulty too, so we'll see. Why did I do that to myself? Ah. Ultimately, I'd rather have a game kick me in the ass and be fucking insane and bitch and moan and complain. I would honestly rather have that than be bored and be like, wow, this is really easy. <laughs> it's I think in the end it makes for it, in the end it makes for better content if I'm like, this is bullshit! <laughs> it, it literally makes for better content, so it's kind of my job in the end, right? Uh, hang on. Desert Tiger. I, I kind of wish there was like a... I, I don't know. The camo switching system is a little obnoxious to have to do it so much. I, I love the idea, but you got to do it so much, though. You're rough on normal. The rage knows no bounds. People like... I mean, overall, I'd say more... Like, there are some people who hate when I get angry at games, for sure. But some people fucking love it. So, you know. Mad Barb is best. Uh, thank you. I said it when it came to the camo system. You can go to the menu every five seconds to change. I mean, I, I like, I really like the idea. I think the idea is super cool. I just think that like, uh, I don't know. Maybe on lower difficulties, it doesn't matter as much. I, I'm not sure how much it honestly matters ultimately. You make these fuckers fuck off by hitting the hornet's nest. Uh, I don't have anything to hit it with at the moment. Okay. So he's uh, right there. Uh, I wonder if you can grab. Please do hold. Wait, is it hold punch to grab? In the other games, it was press X. Is it now uh, hold punch? Did they change it? I broke my knife. <laughs> they cha Oh, they changed it. I thought it was hold X. It's not hold X anymore. So I don't know what it is. What is it? Did to press it lightly? I don't know what it is. CQC? Do you have to be unarmed?
You run up to them and you hold punch. Okay, I think he's dead. <laughs> Can I take his gun? Okay, so X is still grab. Oh, you can, you can get them to drop. We try, oh, he got a chaff grenade. Any CQC can do it. I don't think Xbox has pressure sensitive buttons. So like what I, in the other games it was X. What is, what is it now? Is it holding punch or what is it now? The D-pad helps with sneak. How am I enjoying this game so far? Uh, I'm really enjoying it. My God. It's going to take me an hour and a half for this guy to walk back. <laughs> uh, okay. It's circle on PS2. Was circle punch on PS2? Uh, Tech Nanner? One is a press, the other is a hold. So, like, if I want to strangle a guy, what is that? I think all the games back to that commitment to the cutscene dialogue. Okay. Can you check the controls? Uh, I don't know if there's a way. Punch and throw are two different buttons. Yeah, I, I can't get an answer out of chat. If they, if they changed it from Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, in Metal Gear Solid 2, it was X. Yeah, you got to walk up behind them. Yeah, yeah. Whole punch gun, then you spam punch once you have them to choke. Well, you know, at the beginning of the game, it said, what do you like? And I said, I like Metal Gear Solid 3. And then I don't, I think I was choosing a control scheme and I didn't realize it. Okay, so it's punch. They changed it. In this game, it's punch. You have to hold X or hold B. And we got a WPG. What's a WPG? I don't know. Okay. Um, can we not? <laughs> can you uh can you level up your grip in this game? Mushrooms. The items go to your backpack. Ah, uh, let's see. Backpack. What do we got? Stun grenade. Is it an item or, or what is it? Oh, it's like a grenade. Oh, okay. So you have oh, so you have to like equip the things. Oh, okay. So now I have a grenade. Got you. A light enemy, uh, light and oh, a white phosphorus grenade. Uh, are those uh, war crimes? I think those are war crimes. Who's that? Radio, where's our backup? Just go forward, go forward, get the get the fucking transition. Even if I die, just don't. We won't lose progress. Okay. Whew. War crime grenade. No, you didn't.
Yes, you are. Are we still on extreme difficulty? Yes, we are. HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Sight of the intruder going into the alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Come here, rat. Got him. American extreme. Well, the European extreme was if you get detected, you you game over. That's kind of stupid, man. <laughs> even you know, I, even I do have my limits, and that that's like obviously stupid. Like really obviously stupid. When did I unlock Jedi mind tricks? Bug juice. Um, where am I supposed to go? Hang on. Let me call the uh, major. Let me call Major Tom. You've arrived at the factory, I see. Yeah. Now to meet up with this Adam guy. Good. Go to it. So where is he? We weren't given an exact location. How about a time? Nothing was specified. A physical description? I'm not sure. How am I supposed to find him then? You won't need to. Huh? He'll find you. Huh? Uh, uh. Why don't you try the room to the northeast where you met Sokolov? Okay. Adam might be in there. Gotcha. Eh? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, game wearing. I don't know, game wearing all black at night seems like your best idea for camouflage, but that's fine, I guess. Maybe not if it's a bright night. Um. Well, this is the room. You think it's because I'm in caution? You think that's why? Thermal goggles. Okay, allows you to see that consumes battery power when used. Uh, oh, I guess I'd have to equip it, right? Backpack. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, we're almost out of caution anyway. Ah. Well, let's wait and see, I guess, until caution wears out. You think I just need to leave this room? I'm going to... Well, let's... All right. First, let's wait for... Caution's going to wear out in like five seconds. Let's wait for that first. HQ. HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. Oh. You know what? That is something you could never do in Metal Gear Solid 2. If you got alerted in Metal Gear Solid 2 on hard mode, you could never get away. Oh my god, it was impossible. I've already gotten away from them many- like, it isn't an instant game over for me. I'm surviving. I get to get away and shit. Sorry I'm late. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! <gasps> Trapped. Get down!
she's got the red nine. Well, to me, it just seems like it's actually feasible to get away when you alert enemies, whereas in Metal Gear Solid 2, it feels like impossible. Is your answer. So then she's not Adam, whoever she is. She is not Adam. Put a smile in chat if you love Barb. Huh? Oh, what? 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 Uh, yo, Erkston, thank you so much for fifty dollars. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate that. Thank this you so much. Part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? Adam, Eve, and Snake. What happened? To so Adam? then, what is uh, what is paradise here, right? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right. Who's God, and what is and what is paradise exactly? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a code breaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. According to Metal Gear Solid, That's literally everybody could defects to the Soviet Union. Handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American made. Hey, thanks for the gift sub, Yug. 45, huh? Uh, there's no fork. Thank you for the gift sub. Thank you very much. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been fired. So basically Snake is more comfortable with guns than with women, that, huh? Nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. I don't think you're supposed to dry fire guns, and he didn't know it wasn't loaded. I grabbed it from the Western Munitions <laughs> But, you know, that's fine, I guess. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this, too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohod. Where? At the lab. They like, dude, they love to make sure boobs are in the are in your face every 10 seconds. So Metal Gear Solid 2 wasn't horny at all, but Metal Gear Solid 3 is right back to super horny, huh? <laughs> Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Yeah, what was the point of Tell unzipping anyway? The oh, hang on, I'm gonna free these puppies. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north, and there will be a large crevice. I thought you saw two had porn posters. Yeah, but they didn't throw north boobs in your face you constantly, right? Swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. 
Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Are you complaining? I'm not complaining now. <laughs> and just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Stop pointing a fucking gun at me, asshole. <laughs> right. Let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. Huh. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? Is this what love feels like? She can step on me? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some Isn't sleep. there a thing in this game so I'm kind of remembering? There's like a boss Doctor's fight. Orders, okay? And if you yeah. wait like okay. four in if you if you wait to fight him like 6 days, he dies naturally or some shit. <laughs> that's so bullshit. That's so bullshit that that's a thing. So like basically there's a boss fight and if you just like don't play the game for like 6 or 7 days, he just dies of old age. <laughs> It's kind of funny. All right, guys. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. And we're going to stop it there. We'll be back playing Metal Gear Solid 3 very soon.